Jason, we're going hunting. Huh? Going hunting, buddy? Huh? Or do you want to put Todd in the back and you ride up front? Me growing up as a kid, I got in trouble because I was outside and didn't come in on time. <laughs> Nowadays, you know, you got to tell your kids, sorry, if you don't go outside, turn off the computer and go outside and get some sunshine, you're going to get in trouble. So just getting outside, and we get to see sunrises and sunsets that most people just forget about. That's right. And I just, it's so blessed to come out and sit in the snow or in the cold or just so many things just that God's created. Just sit out here and enjoy, even if you don't kill something, just to be out here and enjoy it. <laughs> Absolutely. February 21st, Friday afternoon, 36 degrees. Look like it's the, so far that's gonna be the high of the day. Todd and I are going on a late season, antlerless only, extended season through March 31st, deer hunt in Prince William County. This tent was actually given to a friend of mine and he only set it up once and never used it and gave it to me. So after you stake it in the ground, connect the top, and these lips here, right here, you have to pull the pole all the way out. This pole was inside this pole. Pull it out, and then this lip turns and locks on. Then come down to the lower section, and this section, when you pull this leg out, you twist it to the right to lock it in. So we've had to figure all that out because there was no direction. Ted Williams series tent from Sears. It was a gift to me from a friend, Tommy. I don't have a clue how old it is, but it's gonna work good. Todd's moving in. Moving in. Right, Mason? Right, Mason? Lord, thank you again just for another beautiful day and thank you for us to get up here safely and just have the opportunity to go and hunt. Lord, we just pray for safety. Enjoy your evening. Honor and glorify you. But if you bless us with a harvest, that'd be great too. 
And Lord, we just thank you for Chris getting his truck done and hopefully join us tomorrow morning. We just give you all the honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. We'll see you out there, man. We'll be driving down and drag some deer up. Yeah, sounds good. set up got about an hour and a half two hours I think we can shoot until 624 Meh. big doe was the lead doe with the two fawns but this one was big um, maybe a little bit bigger than the other one there's broadside so I went ahead and took it <clears throat> I shot perfect through the, right through um, the heart but if I would have shot it in the front shoulders I might have dropped it right there and got killed another deer um, since it's as you can take and all four more does but maybe tomorrow I'll get another one but hey praise God I Got a deer. It's a great night, and I uh, found it. Great blood trail, easy to track, and uh, so I'm using a uh, H and R. It's a 20 gauge single shot um, slug gun that I'm using here, and uh, love it. Great gun. Love it. So this, uh, I'm going to start gutting this deer. Todd's hopefully going to start coming up soon with uh, Mason and help me haul this stuff out of here. But, uh, uh, thanks for being with me. And uh, still got tonight at camp and doing some hunting tomorrow. Well, uh, but if I would have shot it in both shoulders, it would have dropped. And I could have got another shot on something else. It didn't get skunked. No. But this one ran off, the other three just stood there. And yeah. then they took off. And they took and off, yeah. Couldn't get, by the time I got loaded, I couldn't get in our shot. So what do we got going on here? Dinner after a successful hunt. I like it. <laughs> it's 
Spaghetti meatballs. We're gonna eat well and put some meat in the freezer as well. All right. Well, you know, get my cookies. <laughs> there you go. Stealing the cookies. So tell me about this place. How long you been coming up here? About 18 years. Nice. Probably longer. Probably close to 20. I lose track. I don't remember when I first came up. Probably about 20. 20 years ago. Guy from church. Yeah, I've met him. And uh, he was in the uh, orchestra, played music. And uh, nobody was coming up here hunting. And it was all trashed. Batteries and car tires and all kinds of So I told him I'd clean it up and <clears throat> put up posted signs and he gave me permission to hunt it. This uh, this YouTube channel, what's, the, what's your plans for it? Talking about doing it for a long time. Just got so much hunting video and camping videos and fellowshipping with friends and family members. I just want to get it out there so they can see it. So yeah. people can watch it and learn. Absolutely. Well, yeah, you've known me for heck as many years as I've been coming out with you. And that's, that's going back to what, 2000 and... 13, 14, something like that. Um, you, you got film that goes back even further than that, right? Uh, yeah, my son, I think I started filming when he was eight. Of course, just learning that. Right. <laughs> Helping him get a gun on a deer and yeah. not filming. So <laughs> you got the before and after films. Yep. Well, it's come only, a long way. Only recently did I finally get action cameras and. <laughs> Right. Stuff and start getting different angles, learning from other guys on YouTube, teaching guys not to shoot their kids deer, <laughs> be patient. No, no. I gave him plenty of notice that I would shoot if he didn't. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a camera back then to film that when Jonathan threw down in what, Nelson County, right? And you put me up on the ridge and uh, it was at that vineyard. Just, just after sunup, Jonathan and I are sitting in that, in that uh, pop-up stand, and this little button buck comes walking down over the top. He was so excited, first time behind the gun, first time he had an opportunity to shoot. So, go anytime. Man. He doesn't go. I nudged him again, son. Now's the time. <laughs> Well, two strikes and it's out. <laughs> Put that one in the freezer. He got one the next year, though. So. Yeah, so this has grown into um, what the uh, Straight Path Hunt Club, which is out of Spotswood, or is that just home church? Based out of Spotswood, that's where all the members were originally. Right. And then we had to open it up. Some members started going to other churches, which is fine. Sure. So we opened it up to bring in other. Christians into the straight path hunt club, but that doesn't automatically put them into going down to hunt camp. The hunt camp's a private thing that I do and invite, specifically invite people to. Right, well, it's like where we are here in Prince William now. <laughs> so we have um, certain properties that are that are set aside just for the hunt. Yeah, and they can go anytime they want. That's uh, Orange County and uh, down to Spotsy. Two different properties there. But the Orange County is, is it somewhere over 200 acres? What do we have out there? That's 165. 165. We'll at least another 100 this year. Okay. So got a couple of new guys, a pastor, a youth pastor or something like this. Nice. And then uh, how many acres do we have down in, in spots? 125. So it's small, it's not like a lot of hunt clubs, a thousand, a couple thousand acres, but yeah. it's only a small group of guys. and. Some of them that hunt orange and don't even know where the spots of property is. And the ones that hunt spots of property don't even know where the orange property yeah. is. Yeah, so it's definitely not over hunted. And we're improving the property each year. And, and I don't count because I only hunt there maybe. <laughs> well, yeah. actually, we've had it, what, five? Five, six years? Yeah. Last year was my first time ever hunting it. My first time out there, I killed a doe with my bow. Right. And then this year I went out opening day with my daughter and killed a doe with my bow. Otherwise, I really haven't hunted of it. That's right. That's when you took Hannah out there, right? 
That was awesome. weird. <laughs> Never had misfires with 20 gauge. Two different shells. So I don't know. I didn't have a zoom in picture of uh, how good the shot was. But uh, one stop broadside so hopefully, hopefully got a shot and got a, got a good hit. an update on that deer I have uh, some video from my action camera from that deer earlier today ended up not finding that deer um, found tons of hair and uh, lots of brown hair so I know I didn't hit it low um, but I'm pretty sure I grazed its back because there was no blood Two of us looking, Mason had my dog, we looked all over the place, and there was uh, no sign, just tons of hair. So, more hair than I'd ever seen um, when you are just shooting um, a hole through a deer. So I definitely think I just skimmed along its back and took a lot of the hair off. So, um, hopefully, uh, next trip we'll be able to um, shoot that deer and finish it off uh, we'll be doing some more trips up there so hopefully we'll be successful on that uh, Todd ended up seeing two deer today sure is a beautiful piece of property where I saw those two this morning down off that ridge across into that thicket and they headed south of course Jason came in over the ridge from the west and tried to push them to me but I think they were long gone it's Proverbs Three, five and six says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. And in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Isn't that what this hunt club's all about? It is. Um, again, I, one of my passions is hunting 
and I've had a lot draw a lot of people to me because of that either Christians or non-Christians I have opportunities to take them out and spend time in the woods the only problem is is most guys can only go when I can take them and that's during the week and they have to take off work and so I started the hunt club in order for guys to be able to get together with other men to go hunt anytime they wanted or take their kids and not have to wait for me but also then we could fellowship and you know hold each other accountable and do basically things here of <clears throat> you know reassure each other trust in the lord um just help hold people accountable you know, acknowledge god every time we're out for the creation everything Absolutely. that he's blessed us with to be out here and to be hunters to chase deer and to camp and enjoy the outside outdoors and so there's a lot of uh benefits and then also the bible talks about iron sharpens iron so we can help each other stay on the straight path and that's one of the reasons we picked proverbs 3. yeah that makes that makes a lot of sense um you know and it's not about what we can do in our power right it's it's all about god and and what he's done for us and you know staying on that straight path when I think of that, I think of um, you know staying in, the, in in His Word and in prayer and uh, staying in church and fellowshipping with other Christians, and that's what I like so much about this hunt club. Um, I'm, uh, I'm thankful that you invited me to be a part of this group, and uh, I'm excited about what the uh, you know, Lord has in store for it, and us putting uh, together this YouTube channel and uh, all of the viewers that hopefully we'll have in the future that. Uh, even if just one of them, you know, came to know the Lord uh, because of what we're doing out here, um, it would be worth it. It's what this is all about, staying on the straight path. And a good reminder to subscribe and hit the like button. <laughs> Wherever that is, maybe <laughs> yeah, up here. We don't know yet. <laughs> so we can bring more videos, hunting, fishing, camping Absolutely. videos to you.